Thank you. Good afternoon, Council President Pro Tem Faulkner and members of the City Council. I'm Kathy Winterrode with City Planning and Community Investment Department. With me today is Jeannie Croce and Craig Hooker, MSCP staff. We're here today to address the acceptance and expenditure of a $500,000 federal grant to prepare a vernal pool habitat conservation plan. By way of background, the city completed the Multiple Species Conservation Program in 1997. The MSCP was developed to protect core biological resource areas and to streamline the development review process. Among the biological resources covered by the MSCP are several threatened or endangered vernal pool species. In 1998, a lawsuit was filed against the city and others alleging that vernal pools were not being adequately protected by the MSCP and accompanying regulations. The court ruled on the case in October 2006 and found that vernal pool mitigation had been unsuccessful, particularly related to creation of habitat, that protection of vernal pool species was not adequate, that funding for long-term maintenance and monitoring of vernal pool resources was not adequate, and that new federal consultation is required. As a result of the ruling, numerous public and private development projects were enjoined and cannot be processed or permitted at this time. These projects are identified on page two of the report to City Council. With council authorization to accept and expend the grant funding for preparation of Vernal Pool HCP, the city would petition the court to release the enjoined projects so that they can move forward and be processed consistent with the planning agreement that ensures compliance with conservation objectives and implementation of the HCP. The city would relinquish federal coverage of Vernal Pool species and replace that with new coverage requirements that would be consistent with the HCP and would also consult with the wildlife agencies on the HCP and establish vernal pool conservation areas. The success or failure of current vernal pool restoration and mitigation projects would be analyzed as would funding mechanisms for future mitigation requirements as part of preparation of the HCP. This approach would address the court ruling, would provide for the continued processing of currently stalled public and private projects, and would result in a plan that would protect vernal pool species and ecosystems that support them. The HCP grant would provide $500,000 to the city for the Habitat Conservation Plan. It's proposed that $400,000 of the grant be used to contract with SANDAG for preparation of the plan using their as-needed consulting list and technical expertise to complete the analysis. SANDAG involvement will ensure the HCP will be consistent with regional planning and financing efforts, drawing on their extensive connections with key stakeholders. SANDAG has the ability to provide linkages to regional funding that may ultimately benefit implementation of the HCP in the long term. Approximately $100,000 of the grant funding is proposed for city staff time in departments other than CPCI to oversee the environmental review process and amendments to land development code and to ensure vernal pool preserve areas, management and monitoring requirements within city owned lands are acceptable to those departments. The grant requires a match of $205,000. CPCI is proposing, proposing to fulfill the grant match through requirement, match requirement through budgeted MSCP staff time to prepare the draft EIR, manage the contract with Sande, coordinate with interested parties, and review the working drafts and final HCP, the Vernal Pool Management Plan and Vernal Pool Analyses. On December 9, 2009, this proposal was presented, was presented to NRNC. Testimony was provided by representatives from the building industry in support of the HCP and to note a minor inconsistency between the planning agreement and an applicant's ability to obtain federal permits. The item was forwarded to City Council without a recommendation, but with direction to contact environmental groups to assure their understanding of the proposal. CPCI staff provided the grant information, including the planning agreement and interim project process, to the plaintiffs and environmental groups, and has worked with the Fish and Wildlife Service and the BIA to resolve the permitting issue. The revised proposal would allow projects to proceed to a discretionary hearing. New projects and projects early in the development review process at the time of enjoinment could not pursue take authorization until completion of the HCP or March 2012, whichever comes first, meaning they could not grade their project site. Projects with at least one draft EIR submitted to the city for review prior to enjoyment would be allowed to pursue take authorization through the federal process, not the city process. These projects are limited to Castle Rock, St. Jerome's Church, and Candlelight East and West. Additionally, all projects, both the old ones and the new ones, would include a condition that requires the take authorization and um, HCP consistency ensured through substantial, substantial conformance review prior to the issuance of any grading permits. They would have to come back into the city after their um, approval. 
In conclusion, staff recommends the council approve the resolutions to accept and expend the Vernal Pool HCP grant and authorize relinquishment of federal coverage for vernal pool species. This concludes the staff report.